Let's say that I've edited a project in Final Cut or Premiere, and I want to bring it over to the color page inside Resolve for color grading. It's very easy to do. The first step is to export that, that timeline from Final Cut or from Premiere using XML. Now with Premiere, File Export Timeline XML is part of the File menu, and that works perfectly. With Final Cut, Final Cut has always supported the latest version of XML, but Resolve is not yet caught up. So when you export the project from Final Cut, you want to export it as File Export XML, but then in a menu inside Final Cut, you want to select XML version 1.11. The current version is 1.13. Export it as 1.11. Then, inside Resolve, go to File, Import, Timeline. Notice the keyboard shortcut, Shift-Command-I. On my desktop, I have a project that was exported from Final Cut using version 1.11 of XML, and I click Import, and it opens up this dialog. Where it says, this is where your file's coming from. That's the source file. This is the timeline you're importing. What are you going to call it? I'm going to call it Drama for grading. You could call it Fred. Nobody cares. But then you can change this as necessary to configure your project. For instance, here I've got it as a 1280-720 project. Maybe it's actually 1920-1080 or it's a 4K. You want to make sure that all of this are correctly set for your project and it varies by project and then click OK. I'm not going to do that because this project is exactly what was exported from Final Cut. I brought it in here to make sure that I could then use it for demonstration and for color grading. Then when the time comes, let's go to the color page, Shift-6. Now when the time comes, let's say that this is color graded and I'm ready to output it. I can go up here to Quick Export, send it off as a ProRes file, and it will then send it to Final Cut or Premiere. Or I can go to the Deliver page, and under Deliver, Custom Export, QuickTime, I want to have it be ProRes. And I can say, do I want to export the entire movie as a single clip? So it's done. I just have to add titles or captions. Or do I want to export it as individual clips because I'm going to do additional processing inside Premiere or Final Cut? Once you export that, you then import it or link to it, depending upon whether it's a single clip or individual clips. Link to it inside Premiere or Final Cut. It then comes into your timeline and you can do your final output from Final Cut or Premiere. So you can use Resolve as a standalone package and do all your editing inside it, or you can easily send your project from Final Cut or Premiere or Avid to Resolve for color grading and then send the finished color graded footage back. Works easily both ways. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the color page inside DaVinci Resolve 19. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for webinar 374. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media, and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.